As co-chair, what are your aspirations for the meeting? I think having the World Economic Forum at this time in Korea is perfect. The timing's perfect midway between the G20 summit in April in London and the next G20, which is likely to be in New York in September. And the location, Korea, Asia. Asia is going to play a key role in the rekindling, the driving of growth in the world economy, in the recovery. And Korea, because Korea is taking on presidency of the G20 next year in 2010. How would you describe the current banking landscape in Asia? What are the opportunities and the challenges that lie ahead in the region? The Asian banking system is actually in pretty robust shape. Yes, it faces challenges, but it hasn't faced nearly the degree of stress that has afflicted the Western banking system. To some extent, that's the benefit of having gone through the Asia crisis of more than a decade ago. A lot of lessons were learnt then by bankers, by corporates, by regulators that have proved their worth now. I see lots of opportunities in banking in Asia. The, this is a region of huge economic potential, notwithstanding the challenges that many of the economies face now. And that growth potential generates big opportunities in banking. So the banking system in Asia, Definitely some near-term challenges. Asia is not immune from what's going on in the broader world economy. We all know that. But a banking system that's in relatively good shape and with plenty of opportunities for the future. What is it that you think has helped insulate the Asian markets from the worst of the global financial crisis? You mentioned the lessons learned in the 90s. And, and are those lessons exportable to Western banking? Some of the things that have made the Asian financial system more resilient in the face of the financial crisis are pretty fundamental uh, truths that have relevance to the rest of the world. Most Asian financial system, most Asian corporates weren't as leveraged as say the US or the UK. There was much less uh, over complexity or over sophistication in some of the alphabet of products that were um, produced. Regulators on the whole were somewhat more conservative and used often quite simple rules to control uh, the way the financial system uh, developed. I think there are definitely lessons in all of those things for the rest of the world. But I don't think also that Asian countries, bankers, regulators should be too complacent. There are things that need to change and develop in the Asian financial markets. We need stronger domestic capital markets in Asia. We shouldn't be complacent about the current state. There are the things that need to be improved. What would you urge leaders to address when South Korea assumes the G20 chairmanship in 2010? Well, it's still six months or so before Korea assumes the uh, chairmanship of the G20 in 2010. And six months, given the current pace of economic developments, the way this crisis is unfolding, is really quite a long time. And of course, we have the G20 meeting in September in the States before then. I suspect we will still be wrestling with the challenges of the world economy, the reshaping of the financial architecture of the world. These were challenges that will persist through into 2010. A couple of things I think will be very important during the Korean uh, chairmanship of the G20. One is that we continue to fight against the forces of protectionism. I do think that as unemployment increases in markets all around the world, the political pressures for protectionism, whether explicit or hidden away in regulations and so on, will become very strong. And I think the G20 will have to play a role in resisting those pressures. A second thing I think will be very important during 2010 and the G20 discussions that year will be to ensure that as growth is rebuilt, is the world economy comes back into recovery, that we do so on a basis that is sustainable. 
on a basis that is actually helping the bottom billion of bringing them into a world in which they can enjoy more of the fruits of globalization. Otherwise, I think the political legitimacy, the social legitimacy of, of the economic growth will be undermined. And, and another aspect of sustainability, we, we do need to ensure that the next phase of world economic growth is more environmentally friendly. Ultimately, we have to do something about climate change. And I think that is something where Korea is very well positioned to take a leading role.